my chest. I got milk in the jet lag, but I'm golden. Yeah, yeah. We deserve Grammys and some Oscar. The homie, it's a vibe. Over switch sides, it's a vibe. Yeah, yeah. I go through what you go through what you go through. Your dreams with this cream I make, cream I make. What? Gotta be on, gotta be on. You think I say, I say. What? What? I can't feel my toes, but ain't gonna fold up, fold up. I was in the double law when I rolled, when I rolled. I've been rolling on the drive. Hello, everyone. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is. Thank you very much, Larry. EA Sports coverage of the NFL, the National Football League, is here and on the air. Coming up, an important divisional round matchup in the NFC between the Seattle Seahawks and the Dallas Cowboys. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. and 10 it's Wilson and he's going to drop this off to his fullback powers ahead at the 45 and he'll be taken down but not before he gets into enemy territory a good pick up there 26 yards tackle it'll be a two-yard gain and it'll bring up a second down shift together here from the D line there's Thomas Rawls with his first carry he'll get about four here down to the 43 yard line A good chance this is four down territory if they're unable to convert. But right now looking at a third and three. From the shotgun, Wilson. And he finds Jimmy Graham. And he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. A Seahawk first down. Wilson to his big target, Graham. Nice job keeping that opening drive alive, and they're in plus territory, that part of the field where you really want to convert on third down, they did. Big time pickup for them, and now, I think the aggressive play callers think to themselves, this part of the field, I take my shot at the end zone, because the closer you get to the end zone, the field can, gets condensed. It makes it a lot tougher to run those routes. You still got a chance to actually run past people right now. Take your shot at the end zone early in the down and distance count. On second down, here's Wilson going to Rawls on the dump off. That one good for 16, and the drive will continue. This drive, it's been a good mix. Three passing plays, three runs, hitting on all three of those passes, and the last one putting him in the red zone. So wouldn't you think play action right here? Because you've got the ability and had the ability to run it and throw it. Go play action and take your shot at the end zone. And his throw is incomplete. Jimmy Graham, the intended receiver, and it's second down. But he kind of forced that one there, didn't he? It's almost like he predetermined where he was going to go with the football. Yeah, he wasn't really going through progressions. He wanted to go to his top guy. You do that against this defense, they'll make you pay, won't they? Yeah, they certainly will. They react very quickly to the throwing football. Second and ten. It's Wilson again. This will be caught just inside the ten. And he will score. Touchdown, Seattle. Jimmy Graham from 13 yards out. And the Seahawks take the ball down the field and score on their opening drive. A long way to go in this one. I'm sure that's not the only score we'll see today, but to jump out like that, very good. Yeah, everyone wants to set the pace. You know, in a game like this, you want people chasing you. You don't want to be the team chasing them. That's exactly what they did. So that one, an eight-play drive, it spans 75 yards. And the Seahawks capping it off with a touchdown. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This is taken at the three. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. Hey, 
They'll start with Hunt on the ground. And he'll get this one up to about the 39 here. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. If these kinds of lanes are available, you have to feel like he's going to have a pretty big game on the ground. Yeah, you can tell early on he's got a little burst in his step, and that's a big pickup right there on first down. To throw his press gun. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. It's a nine-yard gain, and it keeps the drive moving. Now, Charles, what's the mindset here offensively? You gave up the touchdown pretty quickly. Would it have changed if you had gotten a stop and it would be 0-0 zero, zero right now or no? I wouldn't think so. I think in most cases, just down a touchdown, you know, I mean, we're just getting started here. It should be a long way to go. You think to yourself, stick with the game plan, all the things you worked on in practice. But you have some teams that when they get down and try and be aggressive on their first series. It'll go as a gain of six that time, and it moves the chains as well. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football. In that situation, it's almost a tendency breaker. And he'll take this one down to about the 40. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Right, get there, get there. Counting down toward the midway point in corner one. Second down, Prescott. And this one caught by Des Bryant. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Prescott finding his big receiver, Bryant, there for a Cowboy first down. I don't believe that this opening drive is surprising to either one of us after the time we spent with the coaching staff and players prior to the game. What about you? Absolutely. Not only that, but that big article in the paper this morning about their philosophy on starting games like you're shot out of a cannon, and that's what they've done. Very methodical here on this first drive. Yeah, so many teams talk about that fast start. We're actually seeing it happen right here in front of us. But now the kicker. Can they cap it off by putting the ball in the end zone? Prescott now on second down. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And down inside the 15 he goes. That one goes for 13 yards and it moves the sticks. I don't think it's a surprise they're throwing the football early. We expected that. They told us they were going to come out firing the four for four on the opening drive. They like that. <laughs> they don't just like it. They love it because now everyone gets locked in. The confidence jumps up. Everyone's easy about what they're doing out there. And by the way, they're looking at the sideline thinking to themselves and expressing, let's keep throwing it. We're doing pretty well. A second down throw for Prescott. And they're not able to hook up there. Incomplete. I know in every game we do, we talk about momentum. That was a momentum play lost. And now there could be a letdown because they didn't get the interception. Yeah, you could almost hear the collective gasp on the sideline as he could not come up with that football. On third down, it's Prescott. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. That's an old-fashioned death march there, partner. Took him a lot of plays, but hey, they did the job. And the defense always preaches getting off the field, making a play and turning it back over to their own offense. Unable to do so. A long, sustained drive by the offense. Dan Bailey now for the extra point. It's good, and we're all tied at seven apiece. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. The Seahawks offense now, they get ready to head back onto the field. And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offense that's humming. Agreed. What you were looking for is the defense get the ball back pretty quickly, right? Hoping for a three and out. So that didn't happen. You can't yell at your D for that. They've got to take care of their own business and reestablish themselves now that they're back on the field. Give him nine there on the first down completion. All right, I'm doing my rudimentary math here. That's his third catch here in the first quarter. I don't know if it's just game plan or he's just finding his way open. And maybe a little of both. On second down, Rawls. And he went nowhere. Well, he went 
backwards. Back to the 33. They lost two there, and it's third down. We all have habits. We can be somewhat predictable, and you know me pretty well on second down and short. What I like to say, play action. Yeah, without a doubt, I thought that was a great spot to call it. Instead, didn't go their way, did it? Rush coming, and he's taken down. Taco Charlton coming in to drop it for a loss of eight, and it'll be fourth down. Sometimes I watch games and wonder why they use play fakes on certain passing situations because it's not going to fool anyone. I don't know if that was the case here, but the end result was the same. No one fooled. The quarterback was hit. This is fielded at the 27. And a big tackle there as the defender runs right through it at the 38-yard line. Now the Cowboys offense heads back onto the field. The last possession, these guys were able to tie the game with a touchdown, and now they'll have a chance to move out in front. Yeah, let's give a big assist to the defense. who got the ball back. The special teams went out there, handled things. They've got it. They've got momentum. I know they're eager to get out there and put it on display. Now a play fake here on first down. Flushed out right. He hits Beasley right side. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Defense put pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get on his horse. Still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chains. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. They go play action here on first down. And he finds a man on the crossing route. And he's brought down, but not before reaching the eight-yard line. So after... Big play. Let's see if they can catch their defense maybe on their heels. This is Hunt. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. A pickup of four on first down. It'll be second and goal. And they'll come up looking to keep this drive moving. Looking to throw, Prescott, and that is caught. Touchdown, Cowboys. That's almost just not right. You cover everybody, but those tight ends, they can be awfully reliable. Very reliable. The defense just has to hate those guys. It just drives them crazy because oftentimes you can't match up with them. They have either with size, speed, or maybe even just strength. Bailey now to kick this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. The Seattle offense now set to come back out on the field. And on the last go-around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. Well, the strategy was evident there. Get it to your tight end and make it a one-on-one -on -one play with a cornerback. Who's usually going to win that one? The tight end, but not there. Uh, not in this situation. How about the corner defeating that logic and making a really nice tackle? And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. Partner, you mind if I take off this headset and put on a coaching headset? You want to get this run game going? I want to get this running game going. I'm going down there and saying, gentlemen, we have got to run the football. We've got to get it going right now. Yeah, to this point in the second quarter, it has been a struggle. And able to find Graham complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. That one goes for 24 yards.
I know the halftime's approaching, but I don't think he's going to want to take a break. That's his fifth catch. Yeah, they've really been targeting the tight end. First down, this is Rawls. Looking for a crease, can't find one. Stopped at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, second down. And when you're running the football, one thing you don't want to see is a big boy coming up there to swallow you whole in those D tackles and nose tackles. No, you're actually counting on your big boys to protect you from them. But on that play, the defensive tackle had the leverage, and he won the battle. No gain, correct? No gain. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line. A good pick up there, 26 yards. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. Wilson going to give the rolls. And he'll be taken down near the 20 at the 21. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Well, he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far, and after that last run... Not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going, and really the offensive line not helping him much. On second down, Wilson. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. The Seahawks on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This is third and seven. Now it's Wilson. but they'll say it's incomplete. Well, that was excellent coverage right there. He... did the right thing showing that discretion is definitely the better part of valor threw it away preserved the opportunity to kick for a field goal and excellent coverage and right now the human is controlling the defense so good job human and murray's kick is up and good and they'll cut the lead back down to four now at 14 10 so the drive stalls out but they are able to put three points on the board yeah just a yard or two shorter than an extra point so no problems converting there and he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards, up to the 27-yard line. Here's the Dallas offense now heading back out onto the field. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. Open now to get back in the end zone on this fourth possession. To the sideline, wow, what a catch. Doesn't get a lot out of it, but he is able to keep the feet in bounds. Let's make this one simple. What foot dragging? A little tapestry, if you will. Oh, I like it. Three yards on the pickup. That's going to set up an interesting third and about four to go. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature and make sure you don't get hurt. And he's got the first down yardage as he brings this up to the 47. A good gain of 14 there, and it moves the chains. But give the defensive guys a little bit of credit. They didn't let the deep ball beat them on that play, did they? No, the, the drag. That guy can be your safety valve we saw right there. Yeah, and it picked up a first down for him, too. And that time he's smothered as he's wrestled down. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Well, he was looking for some running room, and there wasn't a whole lot of it there on that play. I think he was lucky to get a couple yards out of it. So those defenders, they were rallying to the football pretty quickly. And he rifles one incomplete. I know our vantage point might be a little bit better way up here, but that looked like an ill-advised throw to me. I didn't see anything open, and this play just didn't look right from the beginning. It did not. I thought he might get outside and just chuck it away. Dangerous pass, incomplete. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. 
So he can't hang on, and as I watch that unfold, I remembered an expression that I've heard, maybe from you, I don't know, but you're going to get hit anyways, might as well hold on to the ball. All right, you know a coach <laughs> said that, right? Yeah. Not an actual player? Not a no chance at all. Way easier said than done. And good hustle here as this is going to be blown dead right at the nine-yard line. The Seattle now ready to march out of the field. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just I, I like the way you, you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. and He's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, ah, I know how to beat that, and that's what he did. Off the play fake to Rawls. Wilson. The grab made by Curse over the middle. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this into enemy territory across the 40. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. The slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. There's Wilson to throw. No gain on the play there. It'll be second down. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll do a nice job here just to fight his way back to the line of scrimmage. No gain on that one as it brings up a third and ten. A reminder, as we did all through the regular season, we'll check in with Larry Ridley at halftime. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half of play. On third down, Wilson. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. They'll get 10 there, but it leaves him just short for fourth down. And now a timeout call by the Cowboys' defense. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. And this will split the uprights. It's right down the middle. And the lead is down to one now at 14-13. So it's a seven-play drive, but it stalls out in the end. Let's credit the defensive front seven. They were a little leaky at the start of the drive, but they stiffened toward the end. Here comes Ryan Switzer to return it. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Now Dak Prescott of the offense heading back onto the field. And he's been good. Two first-half touchdown passes, no interceptions so far. Does a lot for your confidence. Does a great deal for your team. Gives them a lead, and they feel really good about how they're playing. I think he expects to throw at least another one. I was going to say, now he wants the first-half hat trick, doesn't he? Oh, without a doubt. Go ahead and fling him on the field, folks. He wants that type of celebration. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Now Prescott, out left side here to Bryant. Powers through. Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. They'll run. This is Hunt, and he'll get it out to midfield. Looks like yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. The gain of four that time as the drive continues. 
At this stage of the game, the run pass numbers are a little bit out of whack because most of the yardage has come through the air. But in a sense, that just sets things up for big runs like that because the defense might be a little bit off balance. He'll pick up another first down with that run. Throw left side complete. That's Bryant. A really nice pickup of 14 yards, and it moves the sticks. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block in front of him? Either fellow receivers or offensive linemen. That makes that play a really nice timing play. And sometimes it can break big. First down, Prescott. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. A lot of contact going on there, and in the end, unable to keep two hands on the football and bring it into his body. Everything looked pretty good until the finish. Throwing again, Prescott on second and ten. Got his man, it's Williams. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. The reception good for seven. It's third down. Third and short yardage, Prescott. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the corner, Tremaine Brock. Oh, man, partner, this is something cornerbacks love to do, and that's outthink a quarterback. If you get a sense that they're going to throw a quick out route or a quick hitch, you can just lay back an extra yard or two, but then really put your foot in the turf and drive on the football. And here I think he baited the quarterback into the throw and made it pay off. Space to maneuver at the 40. And he gets all the way down to the 30-yard line. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. On first down, Wilson. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. If they hurry, we'll see. And now a timeout defensively after that first down play. So they're going to make this offense sweat out half number one. And Murray's kick is up and good. And with that, they'll take a two-point lead here in quarter number two. So they kick it through to take the lead. There is a little bit of time left, though, here in the second quarter. And while they're concerned about not giving up a big return or giving up points themselves going into the half, how good do they feel, though, putting points? Hold that thought, Mr. Ridley. We've got a trip to the title game on the line. Folks are eager to get right back to the action. This one fielded at the five. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. Out come the Cowboys now as he'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. They're down here, but very much in this game. What's the tonality of a coach's talk when a game is within striking distance like this at intermission? Typically, what they're doing is emphasizing the things that went well in the first half and wanting more of that. Sure, you've got to go over some of the errors and clean up some things because there's a reason you're down. But overall, I think they want to stay positive, stay up with this team. We're just starting the second half. And we blitz coming, and down he goes. Bobby Wagner leading the surge there. He drops him for a loss of six. Well, that play was the very definition of fast, quick, and in a hurry. Suddenly, he was there. In a blink of an eye, that happened fast and a big sack. Prescott from the gun on third. Looking downfield for Dez. He's got a man complete. Give him 35 yards there on the third down conversion. And at this stage, down in the second half, looks like they just wanted to find a way to get it in the hands of their playmaker, and they did. I think you're exactly right. I don't think the coordinator's looking at his play sheet and trying to figure out which play will work well. He's trying to figure out how to get the ball to the playmaker that you just described. Looking down at that sheet, you find people plays, not necessarily X's and O's, and that's exactly what they did there. They'll run it now out of the gun. Dropped at the 35, so able to display his strength, but not much room to operate. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. They know that old expression, it's not my night, 
it hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. When you execute a drag or a crossing route really well and give them a chance to let it develop a little bit, you can gain some significant yardage hitting your tight end on that one. And that's caught by Beasley. And he gets the first down here as he's taken down at the 24. A Dallas first down. Prescott hooking up with Beasley. And they're on third and short. They just tried to spread the field. It worked. And I think that the spreading of the field, the extra receivers, has really become the next in the evolutionary chain in the NFL. Go all the way back in that situation, you're handed to the fullback, right? As we evolve, maybe you pitched it to your tailback. Now you spread the field, and you have your choices of where to throw it and complete it for a first down. The more football I watch, the more I want to check and see if teams are going to panic when they're down on the scoreboard. And this team has shown no signs of doing that. A lot of the time, they come out after the half, things haven't worked so well in the first go around, they want to throw the football like crazy. But the way to open up throwing the ball is to run it. And they've run it well here to start the second half. Here's Hunt. And they'll lose yardage here. They go backwards to the 13-yard line. It's a loss of two, now third down. Michael Bennett's versatility, being able to play any position along the defensive front, allows him to make those types of plays. He finds good matchups. And this is caught for a Cowboy touchdown. Three wide's a big deal. To go five, how about the way that they finish things off? <laughs> Did you just fit a race car reference into the game? Zoom, zoom. How about the way that you play? When you go five wide, that means you're going fast now. Zoom, zoom indeed. So that one, a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it culminates in a Dallas touchdown. Bailey now to kick this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. And he'll avoid the tackle there with a slide. Give him three on the play, and it'll be second down. Now it's second and seven. Wilson again to Rawls. Two yards the gain there, and now they're left with a third and about four for a first. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. From the gun on third down, Wilson. And he'll just toss it away. So he throws it away, and that brings up fourth down. Not too many things get to a quarterback of this magnitude, but I think it's safe to say that pressure can get to any quarterback. Now he's obviously a great franchise quarterback, but felt the pressure, threw it incomplete. Here's John Ryan now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. This is taken at the 18. Call that 49 yards on the punt. They do get seven back on the return. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack there. Did they stick with that? 
I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. On the run, this is Hunt. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. They're trying to show that they can run the ball, protect this lead, give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Give them 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. When this offense can get their tight ends involved, they can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in, and picks up the first down. Now it's Hunt. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. 12 more yards there and another first down. Really good, skillful, tough running throughout this contest. Picked up first down after first down. He's got to have a nickname, doesn't he? How about the human first down machine? I think that fits. They stay on the ground again. It's Hunt. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. And hey, when you get good yardage like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. Now Hunt. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. It's a four-yard pickup, and that is going to set up a third and one. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. And when he can make the play, and he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. A great effort there. 22 yards. And the Cowboys will add on to their lead. A good, sustained drive there in this third quarter, capping it off with a touchdown to give them a nice two-score advantage. It was actually a fun one to watch, wasn't it? I mean, for me, seeing the mix of what they did, how they moved the ball downfield, very sharp, too. Each and every play seemed to be executed with great dispatch. And the lead will grow by one more. Kick this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Here come the Seahawks now, set to take over on offense. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. No doubt until my offense right here. The punter doesn't exist, guys. He doesn't even exist. He's not a team anymore. I just cut it. All right? So you've got to go out and create some offense for us here and give us some points. No way does that guy get on the field on this drive. Uh, poor punter. Yeah, he, it, it wasn't his fault. But so, hey, listen. If somebody had to, we have to be casualties at times. We're trying to win a game. They stay on the ground. Rolls again. Trying to bounce it outside, but he's only able to get it back to the line of scrimmage. No gain that time, and it leaves them with third and 11 coming up. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. And that one good for 16 yards and a first. I don't care how many times you tell the story, it never loses its luster for me. Doug Baldwin undrafted out of Stanford and plays like a number one receiver short in the NFL. I don't care how you cover him. I don't care that his size isn't great. He's the one that typically comes up with the football. Absolutely. His roots go all the way back to Gulf Breeze, Florida, where he's from right on the water near Pensacola. And then, of course, to Stanford. And boy, he's been good. Four down, four down, four down. 
They go again with Rawls. And it's been like this all night long. Nowhere to run as they stop it behind the line. Back now here on EA Sports. The Seahawks on third down. Three for seven so far in this game. This will be third and six. From the gun, it's Wilson. And able to catch it on the left sideline, but they're going to rule him out of bounds. So it'll be incomplete. Certainly one they'd like to have back as it breaks up fourth down. The third down, he tried to stay in bounds, did all he could. He caught it, but was led a little bit too far. Yeah, and that's always difficult, isn't it? Because you know half of your body is trying to stay behind while the other half is reaching out, trying to catch the... And he's going to go down way back at the 42-yard line. Pete Carroll rolled the dice, but it didn't work out. And Dallas, they'll take over in terrific field position. So they really needed points here in a two-score game. Could not come away with anything there on fourth. And while we know they're a little bit discouraged here, they can't check. And they chase him out of bounds back behind the line of scrimmage. They'll run it here with Hunt. And he'll be brought down at about the 42. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Offensively with the lead, you want to run the ball, keep the clock going, but you also want to still kind of be in attack mode too, right? So how do you do that and not come back on your heels? Now think about all the practices we've watched where they have that tempo period to go over things just like this, where they describe the scenario, tell you what they're looking for, and make sure that they're still attacking, yet at the same time not going so fast as to leave too much time on the clock. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. Prescott off play action. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him. Comfortable in the pocket. When you bring pressure from all angles, you never know who's going to get home. In this case, the left cornerback right in the face of him puts him down. They run with Hunt. And he'll be taken down at the 33, a pickup of about four. The fourth quarter here, they've got the lead. They want to keep it on the ground. That's what they're doing. Smart football. Keep the clock grinding. Keep it going. But you got to figure now, they're going to see more people stacked up in the line of scrimmage as they try and bleed it out. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. And he's going to have a first down here as he gets this one to the 17-yard line. It's a pickup of 16 there, and it'll lead to a new set of downs. Now a handoff here to his running back. He will push his way down to about the 14. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Oh, there's no doubt that this is a huge defensive series right here. They've got to hold them to a field goal attempt or less. Otherwise, this game just might be out of reach. Let's see if they can hunker down and get it done. Escaping the pressure right. Breaks a tackle. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. They'll wind up with positive yardage. It's a gain of three, but now it's third down. How about a tip of the cap to the defense? They're working against a very mobile quarterback, but all day long they've kept him under wraps. And on that play, they held him to a short gain. And intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. Picked off down at the two. That is the play they needed in a two-score game here in the fourth quarter. No doubt about it. They did what they had to do to give themselves a chance to get back into the game. They turned it over to the offense. They are now in charge. Now they need to execute. The drive begins with a run by Rawls. And he stopped immediately there. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Seems pretty obvious defensively a key was stopping the run game. How have they done it so successfully? To me, it seems that these guys really did a nice job of paying attention during the scouting report meeting. And you know, Brandon, when they do those, they talk about the top plays that these guys like to run. The best runs for the top running back, those are the ones you focus on and want to take away. And they've done that pretty successfully in this game. Well, if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs, they'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again. Go play action. Hit them over the top. And some space here. And he 
gets this one up just shy of the 35 to the 34. A gain of 26 on the third down conversion. So after that big gain, let's see what else the offense has up its sleeve. Well, throw on first down with Wilson. And Graham's got it over the middle. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. A gain of six there on first. Those short little routes probably going to be open. The defense, they'll let those happen, especially when they can make an inbounds tackle. Yeah, where's Coach Madden when you need him? He always talked about taking what the defense gives you, but sometimes you have to know when you have to take more. That was one of those situations. Here's Wilson. They'll lock it with a grab over the middle. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. Great change up there on the route and got that inside release, made it a successful pitch and catch. But the first thing you want to do is have him thinking that you're going outside. Make a move in that direction. Then you really don't run the... Wilson hit. It's loose. It's out. Fumble. On plays like this where the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back because... This is, this is the quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or moved away from it. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. So now with a two-minute warning coming up fast, that puts a mammoth dent in their comeback hopes. I like how you phrased it. It's a dent because there's still opportunity. They've got to get the ball back on defense, obviously, twice. But guess what? This thing is not close to being over. They need to go ahead and play it out. Not over. As you said, two-score game still. Give them 12 yards on that one. It earns him a fresh set of downs. I think this defense tired of seeing him run the football on this D-line. Probably getting sick of the O-line as well. And as I'm watching this, I'm thinking about a conversation I had with Adam Gase, the head coach of the Miami Dolphins in the offseason. He told me that he asked his running backs each week for their favorite runs. Give me your three top runs. And right now, you're seeing a guy that's probably using his top runs to great advantage in this game. He is in a zone. Time for a break. We'll come back and see this one out after this. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. And the scoreboard on their side, they're just looking to melt away these final couple of minutes and put this one in the left-hand column. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. And now right out of the two-minute break, We'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. The Cowboys on third down. They've been really good converting seven of their ten tries. This time they face a third and two. Now Prescott. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. Perhaps they overthought this one a little bit. They've been running it real well on this drive. And it was third and short. Okay. They decided to throw the football incomplete. Yeah, they might have thought just a little bit too hard about that play selection. So they settled for just the three there, but clearly anything helps when you're trying to salt one away here in the fourth. Without a doubt, I think a touchdown would have been the final nail. But three does give them some breathing room and lets them build up a little cushion. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. And out now come the Seahawks. And on that last drive, went for it on fourth, turned it over. A good job by their defense, though. They held them to three, but this offense, they've got to be a little bit better, a little bit more careful here. And sometimes when you see these calls on fourth down, when they decide to go for it, it's not necessarily the coach saying, I believe in my offense. Sometimes the coach saying, I believe in my defense. I can afford to go for it here, because if we don't get it, I don't think we'll give up more than three. And that's exactly what happened there. You think there. that factored in? I do. I think that he had that in his mind going into the game, that I'm going to be aggressive on offense because I know I've got a defense that can hold up their end. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down.
And the Seahawks on third down. They're right at about the league average, 40%, 4 for 10. This is third and 10. From the shotgun, Wilson. And he's caught on the sideline, but he's not going to have a first down. They say he was out of bounds. So a big call there that brings up fourth. I don't know. He had to be pretty quick with his fingers to start and stop after the ball hit the ground. I'm giving him some credit. Well, I'm thinking about the mental focus. You know? Yeah. Well, the mental focus. Yeah, that's, that's true. Got to stay with it. That's true. And he's got Lockett. And he's brought down, but not before getting across midfield to the 45. 30 yards on the pick up there. And that'll be good for a Seattle first down. Wilson. It's caught on the left side by Baldwin. That one goes for 24 yards. First down now, but that clock rolling. On first and 10, it's Wilson. He's going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. They'll get to him just inside the 15-yard line. And even after that fancy footwork we saw, a good job defensively to recover. And they get up on it quickly and spike it with just a little over 50 seconds to go. Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. Throwing again here, Wilson. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off, Byron Jones. And he is going to be stopped on the return at his own three-yard line. Obviously disappointing, but you had to go for broke here, down two scores. So that forced you to make some throws you definitely wouldn't want to make. But I think this interception is going to pretty much write an end to this one. They'll begin the drive with Hunt, powering forward. Able to evade the tackle, but then quickly brought down just outside the five. And play is stopped here. Timeout. It's the defense calling the timeout here. That'll be their third and final stoppage here as we step aside. They'll run again with Hunt. And an alley to run. And he's taken down, but able to get this up to the 20-yard line. It's a gain of 14 there, and that should be enough to get him home free. Brendan, every great running backs coach I've talked with has always talked about when you have great vision, you're not consciously thinking about your cuts and your moves. You're just doing them. And I think that's what we're seeing tonight. He's about running them into submission. Uh, hadn't he? You took the words right out of my mouth. I was just going to use that phrase. He has run them into submission. Wave the white flag. And this looks to probably be the final play. And Charles, I think when the schedule comes out...